Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. Before I get into what this show is about, I wanted to give you some background information on Damon and Satana Hellstrom. Damon is the son of the devil, son of son of Satan. And I am talking about the devil, not like a devil like Mephisto. And um, and uh, Satana, that's his sister. Um, and then, you know, you heard that uh, he's the son of the devil. Dormammu is said to be his grandfather. And Victoria Hellstrom is his mother. Now, let's look at what this guy can do. Let's look at what Damon Hellstrom can do. He is the Lord of Hell. He's a demonologist. He's a, an, like a cult investigator. He's an exorcist and a priest. He can perform virtually any magical feat. He has like a demon horse for transportation purposes. At one point he had three, but he mostly rides around on one. Um, he has this special trident that is made from this special metal that is only found in his father's realm. Then we move on to his sister. Satana Hellstrom, or we'll call her Anna for short. She is a succubus demon blessed with great magical uh, powers, beauty. She can, uh, she has like life force absorption. So she feeds off the souls of people. She has superhuman strength and durability. She can levitate herself. She has astral projection. And she can mind control others. She can control the mind, minds of others. Now, the Hell Lords is something that was not touched upon in the series. And the Hell Lords consist of Satan, Johnny Blaze, Beelzebub, Hella, Mephisto, um, Satana Hellstrom, Damon's sister, and Dormammu. There are a bunch of other members, but I'll just leave you with that for now. Okay? So this is how Damon and his sister Anna came about. Their father, Satan, was just like, you know what? I need a human woman for use of a gateway to further my power. So he went up to Earth, found himself a young lady named Victoria. He gave her that demon dick. And then, you know, she had Damon, gave her that demon dick again, and then out comes Anna. Okay, so that's how he got his, his kids, and that's why they have these special abilities. Now for the show. The show is about Damon and Anna Hellstrom, the children of a, as they call it, a, a Satanist killer, and their job is to hunt down... Um, the worst of humanity. So anything of humanity that's terrible, uh, Damon and Anna, they deal with it in their own way. While at the same time, their mother is possessed by a demon, a demon that's trying to accomplish its own goals. And they've been keeping their mother at this facility where individuals are very much aware of supernatural presence. There is a half-nun named uh, Gabriella, if I remember correctly. She's a half-nun, like, she didn't even complete her fucking training and shit like that. Like, she got a lot of training, but she's not like a nun. She's like a half-nun and shit. So she uh, works alongside Damon to try to assist him in stuff that he does. And I thought that was odd. I'm like, what the fuck does he need? her help for you know what i'm saying a half nun i'm like that's fucking damon hellstrom he don't need that bitch's help so this half human half demon human demon hybrid is very much held back throughout this show which is odd to me like he doesn't really unleash his powers you know it's like you know he'll do a couple of things but it's it's always like they don't allow him to unleash you know i felt like this show uh, based around the children of the devil is very grounded. 
It was surprisingly grounded, like it was mature in its nature, but very grounded. I really wanted to see Damon and Anna let loose with their powers on a regular basis. You know, things sort of pick up near the last couple of episodes, but it was still very grounded in nature. And every time it seemed like Damon or Anna were going to do something real beast, they kind of pull it back. Like, it's like they were doing it for the normies, you know, individuals that don't read comics. And Damon never really looked like how he looks in the comic books, you know what I'm saying, with the pentagram on the chest and, and the fire coming out the eyes and shit. They didn't make him look all crazy. And Anna... She just looked like some pretty human, you know what I mean? Like, she didn't look all demonic and shit like in the comics, you know? So I feel like while there is a lot of demonic elements in the show, it was very tamed, you know? They, they, they needed to let loose and they didn't do it. And the show overall felt very dry to me as a result, you know? Like, I feel like a show like Constantine, which got canceled and only lasted one season, I felt like something like that, um, you know, that's to me is better than this show. Unfortunately, I don't think this show was bad, but it just, it didn't have that extra oomph and the spice that it needed. And it was too much, it, it was too grounded. You, you don't want to make the mistake of grounding a show that's centered around the Hellstroms. You, you can't do that. You know, otherwise you end up with something generic and flat. And the show never really took off for me. You know, you got Damon and Anna. You know, like Damon was looking after his mom. Anna, she got to the point to where she kind of distanced herself from her mother and stuff. Like, oh, she gonna die. She's dead and stuff. You know, that fucking demon's in her. And then eventually they gotta come together because things are getting worse. Um, but, and then you have these individuals in the background that know about the supernatural forces. They know about the demons and stuff, and they try their best to contain it, but that's only going to work for so long. You know, you need someone like Damon and, uh, his sister Anna to fucking just destroy this shit, you know, because if you let it linger, it's just going to bring about all these terrible consequences and stuff, and, you know, I just felt like the writing did not complement Damon Hellstrom or his sister Anna. It just didn't do it for me. Um, by the time I got to uh, what is the series finale, because I don't think they're going to continue this. You know, this is supposed to be a one and done because now Kevin Feige is running Marvel television as well to where before he was not. He just did the MCU movies. I think like the final five minutes of this episode, well, maybe maybe like the final three minutes or so was interesting, but I'm not really sad to see this show go because I feel that ultimately it just turned out to be a waste of potential. Not the worst show ever, but I feel like they missed out on a big opportunity to do a lot of crazy shit when you're dealing with the children of Satan. You know what I mean? Like, they could have came more extreme than this. So, if you watched the trailer and you enjoyed it, I would say give it a shot. See how you feel about it. But I am aware of these characters. I know enough about them to tell you, as you've heard me say at the beginning of this video, I mean, they just did not deliver on all these crazy um, demonic aspects. It was very, very toned down. That's unfortunate. So... If you really want to get a taste of Damon Hellstrom, then you're going to have to read the comic books because this show does not deliver on everything that it should have. Thank you for being here, human. Terrence out.